Today's R Us is proud to present Pick Your Brain! For the game, Emily. <laughs> you did it! Hey, way to go! savings bond for a college education. Not bad, huh? Great contestants as always, and as you know by now, we're going to give you all the answers, but you guys have to decide on what the subject is, and at 2XL, tell us what the categories are. Let me search my memory banks, Mark. Aha! My circuits tell me that our contestants can choose to meet a buzzing bee or Mr. Doohickey. Press button number one to meet the buzzing bee, and button two to meet Mr. Doohickey. Okay, that's what it is, folks. Push the button one right now if you want to see a buzzing bee. Number two, if Mr. Doohickey is your choice, majority rules, and what is the answer? One of you wanted number two, but two of you, majority-wise, wanted a buzzing bee. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's buzz on over and bug our buddy, the bee. Time. I'm poop. Hey, you try spreading pollen from flower to flower all day. You know this pollination thing? It helps the plants reproduce, but... <laughs> I'm allergic. Hey, besides pollinating plants, we honeybees, we produce honey. Duh! And beeswax, which is stuff used in cosmetics and candles. And incidentally, we got you three pairs of legs and four wings. But hey, who's counting? Now, I majored in entomology, which is the study of insects. So I I know that there are three types of honeybees in every hive. You got your queen bee, you got your worker bee, and you got your drones. And get this, in a hive of maybe tens of thousands of bees, there's only one queen. A queen bee lives up to five years, produces up to one million eggs in a lifetime. One million eggs! Talk about your sibling rivalry. You know, there are about 20,000 species of bees, including bumblebees, carpenter bees, you got your mason bees, oi, and a cuckoo bee, to name just a few. Ah, break is over. I gotta get back to the hive. Oh, I'm coming already. I'm coming. <laughs> well, he buzzed on over, didn't he? And uh, this round, folks, is 25 points for a correct answer. Put your hands on your brains and let's get started. True or false? Each hive of honeybees contains three queens. Yes, Matt? True. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, tell them what the answer is, 2XL. That was a very good try. Unfortunately, you are wrong. The correct answer is false. Each hive has one queen bee. Only one queen. Okay, no points just yet. Here we go again. According to the interview, what do honeybees produce that is used in cosmetics and candles? Uh, Jonah. Beeswax. Beeswax. 25 points for you. Good job. Keep in mind, you can't jump in until I've asked the entire question. What process mentioned by the bee describes the way bees help plants reproduce? Yes, Matt. Pollinate. Pollination, yes, you got a 25 points for you. Tied up with Jonah, nothing yet from Lenny. Molly bees, cuckoo bees, mason bees, which is not a type of bee. Yes, Matt. M mumblebees? Bumblebees is not right. Uh, tell them what it is, 2XL. If wrong answers could fly, you'd own your own airline. <laughs> Molly bees are not a type of bee. Molly bee. And Molly bee, I think, was a singer, as a matter of fact, many years ago. Okay, let's go on to our next question. How many pairs of legs do bees have? Yes, Matt? Three. Three pairs of legs. You've taken the lead. 50 for you, 25 for Jonah, Lenny with zero. Name two of the three types of bees that live in honey beehives. Yes, Matt? Worker bee and a queen bee. And a drone would do it. You're right. Add another 25. You now have 75. Last question in round one. Numerology, pathology, entomology. Which is the study of insects? Yes, Jonah. Entomology. Entomology is right. You have 50. Look at that. Matt is in the lead with 75. 
25, Jonah, you have 50, Lenny. We've got lots of time to gain a lot more points, but right now, 2XL has a pick your brain teaser, don't you? That is correct, Mark. Tell me, who was the first person to use the term robot? See, I don't know, and if you'd like to find the answer to that and meet the partners of these contestants, will you stick around when Pick Your Brain continues? We'll meet that, get the answer to that, and a lot of good things. There we are. Now, we have Don't touch that dial. Pick Your Brain will be right back. Things on Pick Your Brain. Welcome back to Pick Your Brain. I'm 2XL. Who was the first person to use the term robot? The answer, Carol Kapek, a Czechoslovakian playwright in his play R.U.R. in the 1920s. If you know this one, you've got some explaining to do. And now back to our fully automatic host, Mark Summers. Th thank you, 2XL. It's round two here, and this is where the players move on with 250 points, closer to that $5,000 scholarship. Now, whoever's in the lead at round one gets to start round two, and that would be Matt. Come on over here, Matt. Bring your partner. This is one enthusiastic person behind you, Matt. Who is this man? This is my dad, Russ. Tell me about him. Okay, he's president of my little league, and he's also pastor of my church. Oh, my. So I bet you they don't argue with you over that league much, uh, Not often, not yeah. often. <laughs> What's the worst part about being the president of the Little League? Do the parents drive you nuts? The, the parents are tough, but, Mark, it's really potty training. The bathrooms just are a mess all the time. you got to keep things clean, guy. <laughs> I see. And uh, there's a hidden meeting there somewhere, but we don't have time to go on a scavenger hunt. Uh, Russ, tell me about Matt. Matt, well, he's on one of my ball teams I coach. He's a great student, and we like to collect basketball cards. Ba I, I didn't know there were basketball cards. They, listen, they're a hot thing right now, and uh, we are experts at the, okay, at the What's trade. the most valuable basketball card? Mickey Mantle baseball, I know, but um, what about basketball? I'd say right now, probably the hottest out there is Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. well, that would the magic to Orlando Magic, right? Yes, that's Very it. good. Okay, well, we want to give you 250 points, but you do have to earn them. 2XL, how would they do that? Very good, Mark. We have three ways to pick your brain. Fizz quiz, 2 by 2 or XL's extra. Either 1, 2, or 3, you will decide. Scramble them up, 2XL, and uh, Matt, you will make that decision. Scramble them now, if you would, please. And one, two, or three. What's it going to be, Matt? What? Number one, and that is, oh, a fizz quiz. I'm so glad you got that, Matt. Join me over here, Matt. If you would. Now, Matt, you stand right over here. And, Russ, I want you to get as close to this as possible, because I need to add, well, not that close. Run around oh. as close like that. Do you like the kind of music that your son, Matt, chooses to listen to? I do. You do? Do you have a favorite group? Um, I'd say uh, we were like Michael W. Smith. And his company. And his company. Very yeah. nice. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you some CDs. If you could just move over just for one second, because we would have some CDs over here just like this. And you will pull one out. Now, I'm going to pull a fake one out over here right now that you can't use. It would say, Tin Foil Goddesses. I would read it. So you pull it out. I, well, actually, I'll pull it out. And I'll read it. I'll hand it to you. And then you must take it and send it over to Russ. Now, see if you can catch that. You then have to make a decision, Russ. Is that a real group? or a fake group. If you think it's a real group, I want you to hang it up over there. Just okay. hang it up over there. Good, and it'll look like that. Now, you've got to put six correct answers, or five okay. out of six, anyway. Now, if that's incorrect, or you think it's not a real group, you're going to take it, and you're going to dump it right over here got it. into the trash. Now, Tin Foil, foil Goddesses, We Made It Up, doesn't really exist. But from this point on, if you move just over here a second, I will hand these to you one at a time. You toss them over. You can't give them any hints one way or another. You say trash it, or it's a real group, and you hang it up. You've got 60 seconds to have six up there. If at any time you want to take one down, trash it, and put another one up that's in your hand, you can do that as well. The clock starts when I pull my first one out. Good luck. Here we go. Soundgarden. Soundgarden. Dump. Dump it. He's going to dump it. Here's the next one. Lactose tolerance. Uh, let's go up. You're going up there. You think that's a real group. Here's the next one. Ugly Kid Joe. What do you think? Uh, Is it real or fake? Ugly Kid Joe. I'll dump it. You're going to trash that one. Uh, ground Shuck. What do you think on let's that go one? Up. That's going up, you think. Okay, here's the next one. Run DNA. Do you think go that's up. real? That's going up. Okay, how about REM? What do you think? Going up or going, going up? You're going up with that one. How about the Happy Mondays? Is that up or is dumping. that in the trash? You're dumping that one. Whoa. How about Ned's Atomic Dustbin? Is that going up or that's is that? Down. That's trash. How about the malpractice suits? That's is that down. That's done. Remember, you want to get six mold. Do you think that's good? We'll you go think with it. They're going up there with mold. How about the soup dragons? Is that going that's there? Up. That, you're going up. Now, we'll show you the last one if you want arugula. Pass it over. Do you want to keep that? Going. Okay, going. stop the clock right over there. Okay, now. Russ, I can tell that you really are a pastor. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs>
<laughs> Let, let's talk about this for a second. Let's start over here. Now, it's 50 points for each correct one. Good, the Soup point. Dragons. Now, audience, do you think that's a real one? Yeah. Believe it or not, it is. Soup Dragons. Yeah. 50 points. Yeah. Well, where do we go next here? Um, mold. Mold? You want to go to mold? Yeah. Audience, do you think that's a real one? No. no. That comes down. Oh. Ground Shuck. What do you think, Russ? I do. I think it is. No, unfortunately, that is not a real one. Now, R-E-M, yes or no? Yes. What do you say, audience? Yes. yes. that's up there. That's 100 points. All right. Lactose tolerant. Audience? No, no. I think that's something you can take pills for, though. That has to come down. Now, if you get this, you've got 150 points. Run DNA, audience? It's run DMC, unfortunately. You got two. That's 100 points. Way to go, guys. Right back over there. Jonah, how'd you do on that? Did you do pretty good? Yeah. No, that's a tough one, isn't it? Who's this with you? This is my cousin, Joy. Hi, well, cousin. Actually, Hi. she's sort of like my sister. Really? Yeah. Tell me about her. She's really sweet. She has a little seven-month-old <laughs> boy at home. Uh-huh. And we like to go shopping. Oh, we like to go shopping. Tell me about Jonah, Joy. Oh, she's uh, on a roll. Uh-huh. She's a good basketball player. Really? She's one of the best little sisters I can have. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. We're going to mix things up one more time. Two and three are available. Scramble one last time, or actually a second time. Would you please do XL? Two or three. What's it going to be, Jonah? Two. Number two, and you got XL's extra. And that means if you get five out of five, you get a bonus prize. What is it, two XL? Today's prize is a television by RCA. Good. Go into all your favorites with this fantastic television set from the folks at RCA. A TV that could go in your room, Jonah. You will decide on the category. Here they are. Vice presidents or colors? Colors. Colors. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't want to know anything about vice presidents. Okay. The Crayola Company has eight set colors in its traditional eight-pack of crayons, alternating back and forth. You must give us five out of the eight. Now, if you take longer than uh, three seconds or you repeat an answer, you're going to hear this sound. <laughs> and that means we have to stop right there. Eight set colors in the traditional eight-pack of Crayola crayons. Who's going to start? Jonah, good luck. Go. Green. Green would be one. Yellow. Yellow would be two. Red. Red would be three. Blue. Blue would be four. Orange. Orange is five. You got a five out of five. You got that extra TV as well. At 250 points. Congratulations. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, brown, orange, and violet. That would have done all eight. You get that TV. You get 250 points. Back over there. Lenny, come on over here. Play with those crayons all your life. Can you remember the colors? And they did it. Now, Lenny, who's this nice young lady? This is you? Grace Chikini. She was my fifth grade teacher. She's really nice. She's a great teacher. Very and nice. I like her a lot. Good. Now, Grace, oh. tell me something about Lenny. This is Lenny DiLorenzo. He was in my class last year. He's in sixth grade now, and he plays on the gold team soccer. And he also is student body president this year. Well, of congratulations, Lenny. A lot of good things going on there. Well, let's see how well you work together. What is remaining is two by two. You get two question choices. I will read them one at a time. You must make a decision. The question you think Grace can answer, not the one you think you can answer. You've got uh, five questions that you can get 250 points on. If you take too much time, though, Grace, you'll hear this sound. <laughs> Have to move on to the next one. Good luck. Ready, Lenny? Beverly Hills, the zip code, or Jethro? Jethro. Jethro. Jethro and Ellie Mae lived in Beverly Hills with Uncle Jed. What was Jed's last name? Clamp it. Oh, you did it. That's right. 50 points. <laughs> continents or consonants? Continents. Continents? Okay. Which of the Earth's continents has the most people living on it? Mm, Asia. Asia. You get another 50 points. Tony, the tiger or the award? The award. The award. The Tony Awards is given for excellence in television, theater, or radio. Before time runs television. out? Television. Television is incorrect. Uh, prunes or bassoons? <laughs> Prunes. Prunes. Prunes are dried versions of what other fruit? Uh, the grape. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. And here's your last one. Michael Jordan or River Jordan? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. In 1985, Michael Jordan was named NBA Rookie of the Year while playing for what team? Um... Detroit, oh, Detroit. Time ran out. You got 100 points. That's good. Congratulations on that. Let's talk. Now, hold on. Don't go away. Don't go away. Stay here with me. 
The Tony Award is given for excellence in television, theater, or radio. Now, you said TV. Do you know what it is, Lenny? Radio. No, actually, it's theater. <laughs> it's theater. That's tough. That is, that, those are on TV, I think, sometime in May or June. Now, prunes or bassoons. We said prunes are a dried version of what other, other fruit? You said grapes, was it? But do you know what it Plums. is? Plums. You got that. Way to go. And in 1985, Michael Jordan was named NBA Rookie of the Year while playing for what team? Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls. Bulls. All right. You knew that, Grace. Back to your podium. Let's uh, tabulate our responses here. Who's in the lead? Jonah and Joy, you're in first place. You've got 300 points. Matt and Rush, you have 175. You're in second. Lenny, you're in third place with 100. When we come back, we're going to light up some brains and give away that $5,000 scholarship. Who's going to win that? Let's find out together right after this. My circuits tell me pick your brain. We'll be right back. Your brain is back. with Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. Now on Genesis, web-swinging mutant action from Acclaim. And the new BK Dimacell's brand new performance shoes with Dimacell diamonds in the heel that make stomping and chasing them Spanians back to their own planet easy. Plus, Bart's Nightmare is now on Genesis. Fly through the sky as Bartman, battle Homer Kong, and more from Acclaim. Thank you, 2XL. This is it, the final round of play. We're turning on your brains to win you that $5,000 college scholarship. And here's how you do it. You must light up all five of your podium brains. But uh, we're going to give a little advantage to Jonah since she's in first place. We're going to light up two of your brains, mm -hmm. which means you have to answer three questions correctly. Matt being in second place, you've earned one brain. You have to answer four correctly. And Lenny, you must answer five questions correctly before Jonah and Matt. Put your hands on your brains. Good luck. This is for the scholarship. What's the proper name for a horse's foot? Yes, Matt. Hoof. Hoof is right. You've got two right away. You've tied up Jonah. When you write it out, how many zeros are in the number one billion? Yes, Matt. Nine. Nine. You did that really quick. Matt has jumped from second place to first place. He has three brains lit up. Jonah has two. Lenny, nothing just yet. Botany is the scientific study of what? Yes, Jonah. Trees. Trees, yes, we'll take it, yes. Plants and trees, we'll take it, yes. You have tied Matt, our judges say yes. Here's our next one. In the game, scissors, paper, rock. What wins against scissors? Yes, Matt. Rock. Rock is right, you did it. You've got four. I never know what happens on the sea. It's paper covers rock, scissors cuts paper, and rock dulls scissors. I can never figure that out. One more correct answer, you get the scholarship. At what time of day are nocturnal animals most active? Yes, and that would be you, Lenny. Night. Night, you got a brain. Yeah, there we go. One for you, three for you, four for you. In the world of dolls, what's the name of Barbie's main squeeze for the game, Matt? Ken. Ken, you did it. Congratulations. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Show. You wanted to go and celebrate with your dad right off the bat. I'm always in favor of that. Jonah, you were catching up there. Lenny, you got one there, but this guy was just too darn quick for you. No losers on Pick Your Brain. We are going to give you some sweatshirts to kind of get you in the mood to go into the college of your choice. Who wanted to go to UCLA? That's you, Lenny. Congratulations. And UCI, is that Irving? Irvine? Is that what is that for you? And uh, Colorado is for you, Matt. And uh, let's come over here. We'll get ready. We're going to give away uh, a larger prize to this gentleman. But Meredith, why don't you throw it to commercial? You don't want to miss what's next, so stay tuned. We got that $5,000 college scholarship. We're going to Colorado where the Buffaloes, I guess, are the mascot there, huh? Now, Russ, uh, I'm going to give you another shot here. Uh, Ugly Kid Joe. Do you think that's a group or not a group? Definitely, yes. Definitely a group. Okay, you're right. That's right. How about uh, Ned's Atomic Dustbin? Definitely. Yeah, you got yeah. that one. Can you get three out of three? Is Soundgarden one or not one? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, you got three out of three. Way to go, Russ. Nice job. All right. 
<laughs> can I get any of that garbage can over there? I can get no, I couldn't. You can get one in? I oh, hold on. I gotta see if we can do this. Just one. We're, we're, we're having a good time here, Russ. Just one shot. Yeah, just one shot. Here we go. Oh, very close, very close. Well, we're having a, a terrific time here on Pick Your Brain. We want to give you another great prize, Matt. Uh, 2XL, tell us what the choices are today. Well, Mark, Matt can either win a trip to a resort getaway in Key Biscayne, Florida, or a brand new camcorder. Not bad. A camcorder for yourself. Or at trip to Florida, we're going to mix those up. You either push one, two, three, or four. The first picture you match is what you get. So scramble things up, Matt. Whatever you want to hit, it's up to you. Three. Number three, and that is part of the camcorder right there. So three has been eliminated. Now you've got one, two, and four. Are you going to hit it, Matt, or are you going to let Russ do it? Your, your dad's going to do it? Okay, scramble things up. Two XL, one, two, and four. What's it going to be? It's going to be four. Number four and, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so we have one picture of a camcorder. We have one picture of a trip to Florida. One and two are still active. Scramble for the last time. You're going to match one of them. I hope you get what you want, Matt. One or two. What's what? it going to be? Number one, and you're going to Florida. Two XL, tell us about it. Celeste Beach Resort Key Biscayne features casual elegance and award-winning service. This internationally acclaimed resort is located only a bridge away from the excitement of Miami, Coconut Grove, and the Art Deco District. You're going to have a spectacular time with that trip and the $5,000 scholarship cash and prize is worth over $7,000. Way to go. Congratulations. Well, that was really exciting. And you know what? That's the end of the game. It went by incredibly fast. I'm Mark Summers. I'm going to see you next time. We're going to pick three more brains. We're going to give away another $5,000 car. You know what I forgot to do? Meredith, you're right. I forgot to give him that, the money. This says from Toys R Us. Uh, it entitles you to... Ma I've lost control of my own show. 2XL, do you want to ask me a question? Yes. I have question for you. Where what do is it? seals hang their family pictures? Where do seals hang their family pictures? You know, Meredith? Nope. Uh, where do they hang them? On the living room walrus. On the living room <laughs> walrus. Okay, join us next week when Mark Summers figures out how this game works after all these weeks. You know, we light up brains, we give away scholarships, Meredith comes out and gives them a sweatshirt. Say uh, thank you to Matt. Congratulations, a $5,000 Toys R Us scholarship. Russ, this is for you. Come on over here. Let's play with the Frisbee. Come on over here. See you later. Summer's Wardrobe by Rick Pallet's Menswear, Sherman Oaks, California. Find menswear with style, service, and value.